Hello everybody and welcome to Teching It Out. I'm Chris and today we're going to look at how to save pictures in Windows using a mouse to save you some time and increase some of your productivity. And for also those watching this video, uh, to do so at the beginning where I'm giving you this added bonus is how to search for images on Google Images Search and to get free royalty free pictures that you can use on your own site if you're a blogger or a photographer and you're looking for pictures you need to go with your article. Uh, these will also work to uh, put on your site as well. So for those that do use it, uh, I'm already logged in and have Google Chrome open, but what you would want to do is either open Google Chrome, uh, Microsoft Edge, or Mozilla Firefox. If you're not using Google Chrome, what you would want to do then is in the search bar at the top, or for instance, we'll open it in Microsoft Edge. Uh, type in your respective Google uh, location. Uh, so for me, I'm in Canada, so google.ca and hit enter. And then when you do get to Google uh, main page, regardless if you're in this browser, uh, if you're in Google Chrome, uh, which I'm going to go back to Chrome, but you will see, you should see this button that says images near the top right. What you want to do is click on images like so. Well, I left clicking with your mouse, that is, to bring up Google Images. Now, well, for instance, we're going to search for a Star Wars image today, an account that the Rogue One trailer just came out yesterday and all the hype that's going around Star Wars. So what you would do is type in Star Wars in this text box like so, and then hit enter on your keyboard, and it'll bring up all the pictures it finds related to the word Star Wars. Now, for those that want to find royalty-free uh, images that you can use on your own site. What you want to do then is click on options wheel right here with left clicking your mouse to bring up the advanced options and then what you're looking for is left clicking on advanced search and when this gets up and populates the advanced image search page uh, you want to scroll down a bit and you're looking for right here usage rights it says not filtered by any license if you left click on this drop down to open the drop down you're going to see free to use or share even commercially so if you click on that and then click on the advanced search button what it's going to do is refilter the images of the search word star wars to ones that you can actually safely save and reuse on your own website uh, should you be uh, a blogger yourself and looking to do so and carrying on with how do we actually save the picture now so what you want to do is you scroll through so say uh, you're doing something about the force awakens and I see that there's one right here right so we're gonna click on that to bring this up like so left click of course with your mouse and then what you want to do is right click on the picture with your mouse like so scroll to save image as or uh, depending on if you're not using Chrome it might save say save picture as and then left click on it like so by default it will open to where you are automatically saving pictures now for me that's in my documents folder uh, for those that wish to change it like say that uh, you want to put it in the pictures folder so on the left hand side here you'll see that you have options of frequently used folders for quick access and everything else so say we want to put it in the pictures folder you would left click on the pictures folder like so and then click here in the file name and while we're in the file when you click the file name this is where you would then type in what you want to uh, so we're gonna go Star Wars Force Awakens default logo for instance and then after you've done that now you could either hit enter to save it or left click here on the save button and presto you'll notice it's done and you are good to go and now you've saved that picture uh, and you since this is a copyright free uh, picture you could actually use this if you were doing anything uh, on an article related to Star Wars and now obviously this isn't limited to Star Wars you could search for anything up in this box but uh, just as the purpose of this how-to that's how I went through this uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, look forward to sharing more how-to tips and tricks on the latest technology to help you become a master of it and uh, thank you Aaron, have, for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day